it's funny. The, the first impressions of Will were basically, here's this guy, larger than life, with these big pink eyeglasses, not saying much, but saying all the smart things and saying the things that mattered. And he's smart and he's hardworking, and most importantly, he is dedicated to the things that he believes in. He was always relaxed. He was always friendly. UT has been an integral part of his life in every stage, whether it was being here for school, becoming more involved with Beverly. I think it's just been a huge part of who he is. Will has really had a distinguished career. He spent 33 years working for Sears Finance, and then Dean Witter, and then Morgan Stanley. Unlike everybody else that joined this highly regimented organization, Will questioned the reports and became the guy that helped develop new ways of looking at things. He was very critical to the uh, development of the Discover card. And Will got that thing going. An unbelievable task. Will became a folk hero to us at that point. You know, Will always talked about his time at UT, and so Texas was always a part of Will's life. One of the things that Will always talked about was going home, because home was Texas. He had it set in his mind that he wanted to give back by teaching. To him, this was the start of the philanthropic part of his life. He'll tell you, and he's told his students countless times that the most rewarding part of his career was teaching. He worked to exhaustion to prepare himself for being a really, really good teacher. He was unbelievably prepared. His notes were to the T, but he was so dynamic. He was ready to have a discussion. He knew that the life lessons that he could share were far more important than anything that we could get out of the textbook. He was always willing to go the extra mile. One day, I apologized for taking so much of his time. And he said, it's no big deal, it's what I'm here for, but you have to make me one promise. And it was to save him a dance at my wedding. Fast forward seven years, I saved him a dance and we're, we're forever friends. It was illustrative of the fact that he's interested in the relationship with students. He was very well paid as an important adjunct professor in accounting. He returned all of that money to the university and it now exists in perpetual scholarships for undergraduate students at the Macomb School of Business. The fact that Will taught for so many years without being compensated isn't even that surprising just because I think it's indicative of the fact that he really does give his time from the heart. I don't think even Will couldn't have imagined how much he'd enjoy teaching. In 2015, Professor O'Hara was inducted into the McCombs Hall of Fame. Everyone could not have been more thrilled. Being inducted into the McCombs Hall of Fame is a really big deal, but if you look at Will's career, you look at what he's accomplished, you look at what he's contributed to society, to business, to education, man, he deserves it, no question about it. For 18 months, he worked full-time as co-interim executive director at the Texas Exes. And this is a very complex job because this is a very big, complex institution. And there is no question all of that work focused here will pay big dividends for the Texas Exes for many years into the future. It should be read into this uh, interview that every time I say Will, I'm really saying Will and Beverly. Whatever Will does, uh, they have worked as partners. Will is such a giving person that Will needs to be out there helping people. I did not know the breadth of his philanthropy, and they are dedicated to returning to this great university, virtually everything that they have of a monetary and financial sense. I think this is the perfect time for him to receive the Distinguished Alumnus Award, and what an amazing opportunity for him to be able to look back and see the impact that he's made on this university at every point in his life. He's the gold standard, and of course you would want to recognize that. He and Beverly came back to the university and gave in so many ways that show up across the university. What better person to get the award than someone whose life is all about giving and making the University of Texas his home?